we're back at Port Orchard Football Club training and today we get the chance to visit with Sam Gomez. So in the first match that we played the 0-1 loss to Nito, you were out there, out there on the pitch. Uh, tell me about the player coach role then. Were you relaying things back to the guys? Were you talking on the field? or what, How exactly did the the role work in that match? Yeah, it's it's nothing very different than uh, just the way that I usually play. Um, a lot of communication. I'm usually barking at my teammates' directions. I mean, it's it really felt supernatural for me, uh, and I have a close relationship with Pat and Mark, uh, the head and assistant coach. So, yeah, we were in communication, relaying messages. I think it's a really good system. Uh, because oftentimes, as a coach, it's hard to get information out to the players. But if you have a kind of a middleman, which is, I guess is what I would call myself, uh, it can be a lot easier. Let's let's uh, concentrate a little bit more about you as a player. What's your role in the middle? What is my role in the middle? Yeah, what is your role? <laughs> are, are, are you saying your role is a lot of different things? Uh, better, yeah, let's yeah. go over a couple of those for our fans. Sure. I mean. If you want me to spell it out, I guess. Um, you Would you better... say attacking, uh, defense, stopping? You know, are you are you the guy that the that we turn from offense to defense and vice versa on, in yeah. the middle? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I wish I could answer this question better, but truly, uh, I like to do everything, and I think I'm best when I have my finger on everything that's being done: defending, attacking, passing, shooting. Uh, controlling the tempo of the game, offensively and defensively. Um, yeah, so. How are you learning to connect with the guys as you're going forward? Uh, it's seamless. I mean, I think if if you know soccer, if you have a high IQ on the field, uh, you can connect with anybody. And I think a lot of these boys do, uh, as well as myself. So it's really been easy. It's interesting. We knew far in advance that you were going to be gone for our first home game because it was it a friend that got married. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you were away, mm -hmm. and the club debuted in front of a big crowd and scored eight goals and started league play on a great note. Have you had a chance to talk with the guys about it or look at any of the video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Pofka does a great job on social media. So I saw all the goals before I even talked to any of the any of the teammates and um, talked to all of them at practice, talked to Pat and Mark right after the game. Um, it's fantastic, I wish I was there. I missed out on a lot of celebrations, but I'm sure there'll be many more. Let's, uh, in closing, let's talk a little bit about the club itself, developing in the community. You and I and Tyler Brown were at a function with the Rotary Club, and that was one of the chances you had to get out and rep for the club. Um, what's your feeling about how that whole part of things is coming along in such a brand new club, only just over four months old? Yeah, um, it's difficult to put into words, uh, to be honest, the reception that we've gotten from the community and all the work that you and Tyler and the club have done behind the scenes to get our name out there has been incredible and obviously it's paid dividends seeing that our, our fans and both of our two opening matches. Um, I mean, it means everything. Growing up here, being able to play in front of the community that I grew up in, seeing everyone out there, yeah, means everything. It's a fun time for Kitsap County, and it's really cool that we have so many people coming from places like Kingston, mm -hmm. Silverdale, Keyport, uh, Belfair over in Mason County. We have season ticket holders all over the place coming to Port Orchard. So, and of course, a big, a bunch of fans in Port Orchard too. So. Mm -hmm. It's all happening fast, and we really appreciate the support. We want it to continue and build on it, and everyone's welcome to come along for the ride. And it's nice that as a local guy with such a high level of performance, being a professional, that you're here to help us start it. So thanks for the visit today, Sam, and have fun the rest of the year. Thank you.